Yes, hello everyone. Welcome on Yourpedia platform. I hope you all are fine. So guys, I am here in front of you with very important job notification related to Bank of India. So guys, Bank of India, they are announcing some position for probationary officer. Recruitment of probationary officer in JMGS1, junior management grade scale 1, upon passing postgraduate diploma in banking. What is the meaning of that guys? Let me discuss with you. So guys, first they are going to conduct some written examination. Uh, very clearly they announce the syllabus. And after passing that particular exam, if you are coming in the merit list, then you need to appear in the interview and GD will be there. And after that, they will prepare the final merit list. And after that also, guys, uh, you know, you need to pass some uh, postgraduate diploma in banking and finance. Okay. So this is a one year course. Okay. Uh, and if you are able to pass that particular course, and obviously, uh, they will provide you the training and all, uh, uh, you know, resources to pass that particular examination. So if you are passing, then they will recruit you as a probationary officer in junior management grade scale one. Okay. So guys, for that, the submission is going to start from 11th February. Uh, it is going to start and uh, the last date to apply is 24th February. Okay. Uh, relevant date of agent qualification uh, from 1st February 2023, they are going to uh, match, they are going to uh, check your age and qualification. So, you need to meet all those age and uh, qualification requirement before this particular date. Okay. Tentative, they have not announced this time the tentative date for online examination. They are actually announcing uh, positions, good po number of positions they are announcing. Total position they are announcing close to 500. 350 for GBO, General Banking Officer and uh, uh, close to 150 position in total they are announcing for specialist officer okay so credit banking in uh, credit officer in general banking stream okay gbo junior management uh, grade scale one it specialist officer scheme uh, sp uh, stream and the scale is jmgs1 junior management grade scale one these are the number of position you can check it here uh, if you are having any reservation category then you can check it here how many number of seats are reserved for you in total, total seats are 500. Okay, so you can check it here. And uh, pay scale they are offering. Initial pay scale will be 36,000. Then some kind of grade pay they mentioned. Okay, then uh, this is seventh. Then uh, so further upon uh, you know promotions, you will further your basic pay will also be promoted. Okay, so you can check it here. The eligibility which you need to meet, meet before uh, first uh, February 2023. All Indian citizen, Nepal citizen, Bhutan citizen, refugee from Tibet, they all can apply. Okay. So, age, the credit officer at as GBO, general banking officer, the age limit is 20 to 29. Minimum age is 20, maximum age is 29. But yes, there is further age relaxation available for all reserve category. In IT trade also, specialist officer, the age criteria is same. If you check it here, the educational qualification requirement, guys, for credit officer as general banking officer, degree is required in any domain. So whether you are having, uh, you, uh, qual you you are BTEC, you are BSc, you are BCom, okay, or you are simply BA pass out, then also you are if you are having graduation degree, then you can apply. Okay, candidate must possess valid mark sheet degree certificate that he she is a graduate on the day. He, she register and indicate the percentage of marks obtained in graduation while registering online. But yes, for specialist officer, IT officer, specialist officer, four year engineering technology degree is required in computer science, computer application, information technology, electronics, electronics and telecommunication, electronics and communication, and electronics and instrumentation. So, if you are having four year BTEC degree in any of these domains, then you can apply a graduate degree in any discipline and postgraduate degree in, uh, in this, these domains then also you can apply so guys if you are bsc but suppose you did some msc in particular domain electronics okay because you know various uh, institutes offer uh, some kind of master's degree msc program postgraduate degree in electronics so yeah, then also you can apply so if you are having bsc electronics msc electronics then also you can apply okay have four year engineering so if you are bsc only bsc electronics then you cannot apply guys but if you are having bsc electronics and then if you can uh, did your masters also in electronics okay or electronics and telecommunication electronics and communication electronics and instrumentation then you can apply okay or a graduate degree in any discipline and having passed d o e a c c b level so then also you can apply so here four year btech in these domains or graduate with mtech or not sorry so not mtech mtech or postgraduate postgraduate it may be msc or it may be any other post graduation course so if you are doing postgraduate in these domains then also you can apply or simply graduate 
but if you passed this particular uh, you know uh, course d o e a c c b level then also you can apply okay so you can check it here the uh, age relaxation available for various categories like sc st ex servicemen as for the central government norms central government norms they are offering the some kind of job relaxation okay so let me further move to some more details uh, otherwise you know guys before going to apply uh, you need to refer to all those details okay so that you will you don't make any kind of mistake in applying either us category reservation is also available you can apply selection procedure will be what initially they are going to conduct some written examination online examination in which uh, they will ask question from english language reasoning and computer aptitude general economy banking awareness data analysis and interpretation and english descriptive paper will also be there okay so total marks number of questions they mentioned you can check it here uh, and yes obviously you need to prepare for the examination then there will be interview plus gd group discussion will also be there interview will also be there and then they will finally select you and after that you need to appear in uh, appear for this particular course one year course post graduate diploma in banking and finance after passing this they will finally recruit you and guys there is a course fees also for this program which you need to pay initially uh, but yes you can get some kind of bank loan for that or if you are able to pay that fees then also you can pay okay so fees is not a matter guys because fees is not that much high only 3 lakh 50 50000 is a fee plus gst okay you need to pay uh, this is a one year course guys and you can pay this fees in some you know uh, parts so first fee 1 lakh 20000 you need to pay on or before the commencement of the training program next 1 lakh 20000 uh, you need to pay uh, at the before the commencement of second trimester and remaining 1 lakh 10000 you need to pay before the commencement of third trimester the total course duration is one year one year is a course course duration post graduate diploma in banking and finance okay and after uh, successfully completing this you know course they will absorb you as a probationary officer on junior management grade scale one okay Actually, I hope this is clear. Very clearly, they mentioned uh, you can get the educational loan also, okay, and all other facilities also. They will, you will get examination center. Very clearly, they mentioned the examination center. They will give you some stipend also, guys. Initially, uh, during that uh, training program, okay, when you will uh, go through that particular one-year course, they will give you some stipend also. Initially, for the uh, training period. Uh, they will give you the stipend of first trimester they will give you give you the stipend of 2500 per month and then for last trimester the stipend will be 15000 per month okay and after successfully completing the course they will absorb you on the uh, po scale with all you know uh, basic pay and benefits available for the course fine i hope this is clear to all and let us further move to some more details guys uh, yes uh, which you have to go through before applying the, in, uh, in the last, uh, application date is going to start from uh, 11th february and the last date is 25th february before you need to apply some more instructions available for the photograph signature and uh, left hand thumb impression requirement application fees is 850 for general ews obc so guys there is no such relaxation in fees available for ews and obc obc but yes, for SC, ST and PWD candidates, the application fees is only 175 rupees. Application procedure also you can refer before applying. I cannot discuss here in detail with you. Obviously, you need to go through more detail uh, about this application form, like a notification actually, before applying. Okay, so I hope all important things I discuss with you. Please refer to this particular notification before applying. Performa, they attached. Uh, if you want to avail any kind of uh, particular uh, you know relaxation or uh, benefit some performa they provided and accordingly you need to upload that particular required performa okay so please refer to this notification and if you meet all those eligibility requirement apply timely for this position probationary officer on uh, gmgs junior management grade scale one thank you very much keep preparing and good luck